Hi, I'm Stephen Hand from Archery Supplies. Today we're going to look at these Conquest Smack St Smackdown stabilizers. They're a hunting set of stabilizers. Um, they come in different sizes, 10 inch and 8 inch or 12 inch and 10 inch. So my first thing is this Conquest is new for me for archery to archery supplies. So I haven't shot them before, I don't know much about them. So this is all new. But my common question I get from customers is, should I fit expensive stabilizers? Should I fit cheap stabilizers? Should I go for a cheap bow and then fit expensive, stab you know, like expensive equipment to it, like stabilizers, sights, arrow rests, or should I go for an expensive bow and fit cheap stuff to it? Now I'm going to say that's purely up to you to choose. Now for me, I just went and brought some stereo speakers for my house and I brought them second hand and I paid $400 for them. They're about $2,500 brand new. So I think that's good value. Now when it comes to archery gear, I find I shoot about the same with a, with a bow with and without accessories. And yes, there's a difference, but we're talking a very small difference. So, so if I'm a serious archer, I need stabilizers, okay? If I'm a hunter and I'm shooting let's say 25 meters or 20 meters, then you probably find there's not a lot of difference between your bow with and without stabilizers. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna fit these to the bow and compare them. So my first thing is when I looked at these Conquest stabilizers, so when these were hung up in my shop, I don't even know they're stabilizers because the box doesn't indicate to me, and yes, it's written down here on the side that it stabilizes, but it's not visual. And when I'm comparing stabilizers, I don't know what's inside this box. So this is a hunting set of stabilizers. It comes with two stabilizers and a V-bar kind of attachment. But I can't see that from the packaging. So when consumers are comparing stabilizers and when they want a set of stabilizers, they're gonna look at the dead centers kit, they're gonna look at the bee stinger kit, they're gonna look at the CBE kit. So they're gonna look at different options and basically look at them. Look at them. Now the Conquest kit to me kind of looks different and you can't see it so I don't know if it's going to be visually in a consumer's eye so that's the first thing with the packaging now with quality stabilizers versus cheap stabilizers you'll generally find they absorb a little bit more shock so a little bit deader in the vibration as far as hunting stabilizers with target stabilizers they become more rigid as you spend more so you can add more weight to it but with hunting stabilizers they tend to be shorter so less difference between a rigid stabilizer and more flexible stabilizer. Now the price on a hunting stabilizer generally varies between about $100 and you know, $20. Now the Conquest hunting stabilizers are closer to the $200 Australian dollars, so they're almost twice the price of a normal hunting stabilizer. So bear that in mind, so you want these to be better than a normal stabilizer. So I'm going to say Conquest aim at the top elite archer. So they're not aimed at the beginner archer. These are just aimed at someone whose money's no object. Let's buy the best. Now, the other day I went to buy a TV and you're going to say, why are you sidelining? So I went into the shop and we went and looked at TVs. The sales guy said, this is the TV you want. It's an $8,000 TV. And I couldn't see the difference between that and a $1,300 TV. So I chose the $1,300 TV rather than the $8,000 one. Now with stabilizers, you probably want to test them and see what they feel like before you fork out extra money. Some people go, look, I'll just buy the best and I don't have to think about it. Now with the Conquest stabilizers, they come in a matte black, which is what these are. Um, and I'm going to say from the box, this is hanging up in my shop like this. You can't actually tell what color this is. You can only tell it from the side. And this is the colors they come in. They come in matte black, tan, which is nice. Lots of bows are tan these days an olive which is nice if you're John Dudley and you've got your NTN bow because that's obviously green and they come in a clay color I'm not sure the difference between clay and tan but and that's the size it'd be better if it was on the front and it'd be better if this was visual so you can see what's inside in my opinion um, I'm looking for a barcode if your shop's barcoded um, there's no barcodes on this box I can see so if you're using a barcode system you're gonna have to create a barcode for this product so with that um, let's open this up now these are 0.65 now that's the diameter of it so for target stabilizer the thinner generally the better because you get less wind resistance with hunting stables stabilizers the same sort of thing applies but that's shorter so you've got less effect by wind but still the same principle applies 
the Conquest come in two sizes, the 0.725 and the 0.625. The 0.625 obviously being thinner. Um, the price difference, the 0.625 is about twice the price of the 0.725. So bear that in mind when you go and look at them. I don't know the difference yet because I, as far as the, how they feel, um, because I haven't shot them yet. So when you open up the box, this is what it looks like inside the box. Um, there's nothing else inside. So now with the dead center, the B stinger and the CBE stabilizer, they come with an adjustable V bar so you can angle it out the side bar. So if you've got a bow quiver on the side for hunting and you want to change the balance, you can do that. You'll see with the um, Conquest, it's a fixed position and the back side bar is actually angled. Um, let's just take that off. So you can see it's angled. Now the back doesn't have a quick disconnect, it just bolts straight on. The front has a quick disconnect um, so what we're going to do is we're going to fit this to the bow um, and try it but first off what we're going to do is try it with and without and I'd always suggest to you if you're testing stabilizers try with and without the stabilizer so you can see the impact of the stabilizer because it's no use spending $400 on set of stabilizers if you can't feel the difference and some people don't even like stabilizers they don't like adding weight to their bow I'm going to say when you add stabilizer, the more weight you add to the ends, generally the more stable you should be because it's hard to um, pivot the bow. It's hard to move the bow with a massive amount of weight at the end. The longer the stabilizer, the more weight you have at the end, the harder it is for you to move. So let's just try this. Now this is the latest greatest bow. Um, it's an NXT from PSE. Um, this is a 31 inch. I personally prefer the 33 inch bow, but this is popular for hunting. It's about 1400 Australian dollars. It's the top of the line PSE bow. You'll see the balance is pretty good in the hand. Um, so we're just gonna have a shot with this and see how it feels. Now when you shoot, when I shot that shot, I could feel, I could see a little bit of vibration left to right. Now a stabilizer should remove the vibration left to right. I feel very little shock with this bow when I shoot it, so I don't really feel the bow doesn't want to jump forward, it doesn't... I don't feel anything after the shot, it's, it's very dead in the hand. So I'm hoping with the stabilizers, if I've got a bow quiver on the side, it's going to balance it up a bit for me. Um, but I'm hoping the stabilizer will reduce a bit of that movement. So let's fit these stabilizers and check how that feels. Now fitting the Conquest stabilizer is very different to a normal stabilizer. So normally you fit the um, V bar attachment or the side bar attachment here and the quick disconnect fits on and then you have one fit on the back. Um, and generally with the dead center, the B stinger, and I'm pretty sure the CBE, they all have quick disconnects. So the stabilizers are quick to unfold. This one has a quick disconnect. Now what's different is this is the V-bar system here. So this is where the back stabilizer bolts on to there, just there, you can see it's grouped. And you see the angle there bolts on to this angle here. So basically once you take off your stabilizer, the V-bar falls off. So with a normal, when I say normal, the um, dead center, the bee stinger um, stabilizes, the attachment stays on the bow at all times. So I've got to put, I've got to put that like that first. So with this system, if you want to angle this out, you're going to have to change the position of your disconnect. Um, I 
So generally, if you if you mount it out further, you can't change the angle left to right. If you want to move the weight out, you're going to have to move this position like that. So you're going to have to change the position out to the side. Now I've kind of locked, well I had locked this in. Well, I thought I'd locked it in. Okay, so when I fit the back stabilizer, this is angled. So if you want to angle this out, you can change the angle on it by moving it out. But you don't have that full flexibility of mangling it out, moving it down because it's not fully adjustable. But you can change the angle of this out there. So I've just fitted it like that. Um, it feels comfortable. I can feel the added weight. Um, now I'd probably prefer like the dead center, the bee stingers come in camo. This is a mossy oak camo. I'd probably prefer mossy oak, but black does look okay. Um, so let's just have a shot and see how this feels. I'm going to say I felt that it was a little bit more tricky to set up than a normal quick disconnect. Um, it's probably simpler but more complex if that makes sense. I don't know if that makes sense. So I'm going to say that a quick disconnect is more, the V-bars are more complex but once they're fitted, it's a quicker system than this. Because with this, the V-bar's got to be out a certain, the stabilizer's got to be out a certain amount before the V-bar disconnects. Now for me, shooting that, this bow, I could see straight away aiming the bow, I could see left, less torque left and right. Now the PSE Next 31 has 90% let off, so I get back here and this bow is wound down. You can see it's a 60 pound bow, so it's a probably set on about 45 pounds. I'm probably holding about four pounds once I'm back here. Um, so any type of torque, any type of wobbles magnified. Now a lot of hunters will, I say, will like that. They'll like ho not holding much weight at the back because they'll find it easier to aim. They can aim for longer. And some target archers prefer that as well. Um, but most target archers will prefer low let off to create more back tension and create a crisper shot. With the um, next, you can get different modules and you can change the let off. Let's sh just shoot one more shot. So I'm going to say that the aim's better, the bow feels better after the shot with the Conquest stabilizers on it. The stabilizers cost $388 Australian. Um, I don't know if I notice the difference between them and the other brands that are on the market. That being their CBEs, the... Um, dead centers the bee singers which all come in a kit as well so the questions for me between the conquest and the other other stabilizers on the market will be whether you want the full adjustability on a v-bar now before i did this video i looked up what these stabilizers sell for they sell for about 200 dollars each so they're about 400 dollars a kit not including the disconnect not including the v-bar in a set it sells for $388 um, and it's a similar price to the bee stingers to the dead center stabilizers as a set the stabilizers are more expensive but it doesn't have the v-bar so it's going to be up to you to see if you would prefer this setup or the dead center or the um, or the bee stinger now for me, I found that nice to shoot. Um, I'm not convinced it's better than the other companies um, as far as the way the bow feels, but I'd have to compare them one for one to see the difference. Um, I found most hunting stabilizers are very similar to shoot and feel, but these definitely felt good to shoot. And I'll just fire one more. 
Now these stabilizers that are hunting in a target set or setup are meant to be very good. So I don't know if that when I say I don't know if that relates through to hunting. Um, because on a target stabilizer they're 30 inches long so things are magnified. But as a hunting setup, these feel nice. And if you're one of those archers whose money is no object and you want to buy the best there is, Conquest stabilizers are pretty much there. They are the elite of the elite. Um, and we're going to test out their target stabilizers in coming videos. But that's the hunting setup. So my summary is the packaging should look a little bit better. So you can see the stabilizers. I think the price point's about right because it's comparable in the market and it makes the buyer question on whether they want more expensive stabilizers with a cheaper V-bar setup um, or the or cheaper stabilizers with a movable V-bar setup. Um, and also gets to do you want camo stabilizers versus black. So I'm Stephen Hand from Archery Supplies. Your best bet is if you have the opportunity to try stuff before you buy, your best bet is to always try stuff before you buy. I'm more than happy with these. Um, I'm going to say that detaches. This is interesting here. So there's obviously I haven't used a spanner. You saw me take this out of the box. Um, I'm just going to take this off. You can see there's little marks here. So these are square. And you can see there's little marks there like a spanner's been on it. Um, now I haven't had a spanner on these. These are brand new straight out of the box. Um, whether that be an issue for you when you spend $400 on a stabilizer. The reason these are square is so you can fit a spanner to it to lock them in place. But um, that definitely looks like there's been a spanner on it. Um, kind of interesting because they're wide. You know, if you had a spanner, it'd be narrow. Like the spanner's not that wide from there to there. But yeah, these are brand new. And the other one's got a little mark on it as well, just there. So, but besides that, the weights there comes with three weights in black. I question whether these weights will show rust in time. You can see it'll, there's a little bit of rust and these are brand new. They've only just come in my shop literally this week. Um, so yeah. So I'm Stephen Hand from Archer's Plays. The more you shoot, the better you'll shoot and you, ca you can't buy scores and you can a little bit, but it gets back to practice, setting up your gear correctly and just practice, practice, practice. Thanks for watching. Bye.